next, presenting the award for giving, please welcome AT&T Kentucky President Carlos Sanchez. Thank you for the invitation to be here with you tonight as president of AT&T Kentucky. I'm pleased to present tonight's award for giving. Tonight's giving recipient is only 23 years old and she's already doing amazing work to, pe to keep the world connected. At AT&T, our purpose is to connect people to greater possibility. In the course of our work, we integrate advanced climate data into decision-making processes to protect our communications infrastructure. And we make that data available to local leaders to assist in their community, community resilience planning. Sofia Kiani's work translating climate resources to more than 100 languages with reach to more than 80 countries is itself an amazing exercise in creating connections. Her work creating Stanford University's Climate Cardinals program earned her honors, including Forbes Magazine's 30 Under 30, Vice Human of the Year, National Geographic Young Explorer, and BBC's 100 Women Lists. Now it brings her here tonight to this room of outstanding leaders and change makers, and on behalf of the Ali Center, I am proud to present Sophia Kiani with the Muhammad Ali Humanitarian Award for Giving. to first start by acknowledging how grateful I am for this incredible honor. To stand here recognized by the Muhammad Ali Center for Giving, a principle that defined Muhammad Ali's life and legacy is deeply humbling. And in the spirit of giving, I want to dedicate and honestly share this award with my incredible team at Climate Cardinals. When I founded Climate Cardinals, my mission was simple but urgent to make climate knowledge accessible to everyone everywhere, especially those most vulnerable to its effects. Today we see that youth and marginalized communities are often left behind in climate discussions and solution making. Less than 1% of climate funding goes to youth initiatives, yet young people will face three times more climate disasters than their grandparents and need this information now more than ever. For non-English speakers, this challenge is compounded. Although less than one in five people worldwide speaks English, 90% of climate research and resources are published exclusively in English. This leaves entire communities in the dark, unable to access the information they need to protect themselves and advocate for change. When you look at what's happening in the world, at the floods, at the devastation, the droughts, the wildfires, it seems almost obvious that the passion and ingenuity of young people would be the antidote to this. And so in response to this immense gap, Climate Cardinals has built into the largest youth-led climate organization of its kind, uniting over 16,000 volunteers, mostly with an average age of just 16 across 134 countries. Together, in our spare time, through high school and through college, we've translated three million words of climate information into more than 100 languages, reaching over 11 million people. Our work is proof that when we give our time, our voices, and our energy to work together on solutions, we can create real change, breaking down barriers and empowering young people with opportunities to make a difference. Quite honestly, it, I'm often asked what gives me hope when we look at the devastation of nature around our world, at the sadness in our planet, and it's really simple. When I look at my friends who are now graduating from college, I see that the greatest gift that I've been able to give them 
is a sense of hope and purpose. To see them turn down cushy corporate jobs with stability, to take a leap of faith to work for our scrappy nonprofit just because they think that it can help make the world a better place has shown me that what we lack as a society is this sense of purpose and this belief that we can make the world a better place. Muhammad Ali once said, service to others is the rent that you pay for your room here on earth. I believe that through Climate Cardinals, we're paying this rent by building a world where everyone, everywhere, regardless of language or age, can be part of creating a climate solution. To the Muhammad Ali Center, thank you for inspiring us to continue this work. And to everyone listening, especially other young people, know that your actions, no matter how small, are powerful. Together, we can light the way toward a more informed, just, and sustainable world. Thank you.